Thank you. Very impressive to see all these, uh, all these people, so many, 100,000 here to celebrate liberty and freedom and to fight for it. Madam Rajavi, all of the lovers of freedom that are here today, I said two, two years ago that Camp Liberty was going to be a concentration camp and, uh, and worse, a killing field. I am very, very sad to say that I've turned out to be correct. It's become exactly that, a concentration camp and a place where people are killed without any regard for dignity, human life, or decency. People abandoned by the United Nations, and even worse, abandoned by my country, the United States, that promised them protection. Shame on the United Nations. Shame on Martin Kobler. And shame on all of those who promised protection and are now refusing to give it. Shame on all of you. Where, where, where is the leader that we need now? Where is the leader that we need now? In the past generation, a great American leader went to Berlin, stood at the wall and said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Where's the leader to say to the Ayatollahs? Where's the leader to say to Maliki? Where's the leader to say to Rouhani, no more killing? No more killing! In the name In the name of decency, free the people of Camp Liberty and Camp Ashraf. Free them now! No more talk! No more diplomacy! No more lies! Free them as you promised to do. I believe, I believe that the most honorable thing to do would be to take all those people who are now at Liberty and Ashraf and because of the promises made by the United States of America, by my country, I believe it is our obligation to take all of them and bring them to the United States of America immediately. That would be the right thing to do. That would be the honorable thing to do. That would be the decent thing to do. But since we've abandoned decency and honesty, then I believe the only practical thing to do is to return them immediately to Camp Ashraf, where they can protect themselves since we can't seem to protect them. At least let them go to Camp Ashraf, where they can protect themselves from the rockets and from the killing that is going on in Iraq. Let me say to the people that are listening now or in the future, in Camp Liberty, and those remaining in Ashraf, you have my undying admiration. We admire your courage. We admire your love of freedom. We admire your love of country. We admire you greatly. And when the day comes, and it will come, that Iran is a free country again, that Iran is a decent country again, that Iran is allowed to live up to its great history. When that day comes, you, the people in Liberty and Ashraf, you will be the mothers and the fathers of freedom. You will be the heroes.
I believe that now, unfortunately, a nuclear Iran is becoming almost a thing that will happen no matter what we do. The election of Hassan Rouhani brings it, in my view, closer rather than further away. And let me explain why. The propaganda machine describing him as a reformer is hideous. This man is no reformer. You know he is not a reformer. If he's a reformer, we're better having a radical than a reformer. All the candidates in this prior election were approved by Ayatollah Khomeini. All of them were approved. He wouldn't have been approved if he were truly a moderate, whatever that means. Rouhani served on the Supreme National Security Council since 1991. He has been one of its most important members. He was a personal representative of the present Ayatollah. Do you know how many people have been slaughtered? Do you know how many people have been killed? Do you know how many people have been tortured? And do you know how many people have been imprisoned while he has sat for six? years on that council, thousands and thousands and thousands of people. The blood of those people are on Rouhani's hands. He is no reformer. He is a killer. He is a murderer. Wake up. He sat, he sat on that council in 1993, in August of 1993, when the council approved killing what turned out to be over 80 Jewish people and injuring over 800 other people in Argentina because Argentina refused to supply Iran with nuclear material. According to the Argentinian prosecutor, Mr. Rouhani was part of that decision, was a critical part of that decision. The blood of those 80 people and the 800 people that were slaughtered in Argentina is on Rouhani's hands. It's time that we speak realistically about what has to be done. If Mr. Rouhani is a reformer, then he can prove it to us. Here's how he can prove it to us. First of all, immediately, he can stand up and say to Maliki and the government of Iraq, which after all is controlled by Iran, let the people of Ashraf, let the people of Liberty go, let them have freedom, stop killing them, let them go to Camp Liberty. He can do that today if he wants to prove by his deeds, not his words, that he's a moderate. He can release the political prisoners that are in Iran immediately. He can give rights to women, and he can abandon the nuclear program. Since that's not going to happen, and you know it's not going to happen, where does our hope reside? Where does our hope for freedom and decency and democracy and freedom lie? With the Ayatollah? With the mullahs? With the murderer Rouhani? No! It lies with you, with Madame Rajavi, with the MEK, with people who believe in freedom, with people who believe in democracy, with people who believe in a non-nuclear Iran. I conclude by speaking directly to the people at Ashraf and Liberty. We love you. We love you because we admire you so much. We wonder if we could handle with the same dignity and the same strength and the same commitment what you've had to handle. But we know why you're doing it. You're doing it not only for your own freedom, but for the freedom of your children and for the freedom of your great nation, Iran. I tell you now, and I say to you, all decent people are with you. It doesn't matter what their political leanings are. It doesn't matter what their ethnic background, race, or religion. We're all with you. We are sitting with you and Ashraf right now. 
We only hope and we wish that we have the strength and courage that you have. But our admiration for you is endless. God bless you and God will lead us to a free and a decent Iran because of you, the people of Ashraf, and because of you and Madam Rajavi. Thank you and God bless you.